hustling and taking. Man, what would you say, what you comfortable with sharing is like one of the biggest licks? Man. <laughs> Yeah, but when you really a city nigga, you can do that. And it ain't gonna be no pressure. You know what I mean? It ain't gonna be no, ain't nobody gonna be fucking with me, cause I ain't fuck with nobody. But I know niggas out of every clique, like I see like, but in my butt. But in my butt. You know, everybody ain't gonna like you, but enough people like you like for it not to be no shit. You know what I mean? And I ain't no hoe. So it's like, I ain't asking no nigga where I can go anyway. So. Sure. You know what I mean? Point blank period. Man, um, man, you, you mentioned how before rapping, you was robbing, not necessarily hustling. Yeah. Like, around what age did that get serious for you to the point you, you robbing and shit. Like, like I'm an actual, like I'm just start taking like, I'm gonna say like, bro, like, when we, like, that like some Atlanta shit. Like, we used to rob crackheads. You know, Atlanta like a real trap like shit. So it like crackheads come through with a lot of money, we'll take the money. Then it went from there to we started rob you know, we be calling nigga country niggas who be coming from out of town in in you know what I mean, like southern towns from all the town, they flood Atlanta. So that we used to be doing. Like we you know, some people will serve, some people will rob. You know what I mean? But it went it ain't even uncommon. It wasn't like I just stood out. Okay. Like all these niggas do that shit, even though they sell dope, got money and everything. But we used to celebrate when we hit leagues. Nigga be high fiving. Hey, yeah, you caught on what? Oh yeah, yeah. Like it was just, it's Atlanta shit. You know what I mean? Like most Atlanta niggas, they hustle, but them niggas will take some too. You know what I mean? Like it, it all be coming with the game. Like, like I feel like Atlanta niggas more. Diverse, like we we like kind of jack of all trade in the street. We ain't just doing this, you know what I mean? These niggas will be busting checks, then be robbing the next day, uh, be selling bricks the next day. You know what I mean? Like, man, oh. you know what I mean? But I just was when I was young, I kind of <clears throat> favored that shit a little more. You know what I mean? Hustling and taking. Man, what would you say? What you comfortable with sharing is like one of the biggest licks. Man. <laughs> it's so many on bro, I can't even say. It's just that shit. You talking about like paper though? Oh. Shit, I don't man, I don't took like three hundred thousand from a nigga. You know? Like you know, I don't like bragging on dirt though. But it's all good. I don't give a fuck. I can't take it back. I don't I don't take back nothing. If I do it on my own, it is what it is. No regrets. No, nah, I don't regret nothing. Yeah. You know, like personal relationship shit, you have regrets and shit, but in the street, I gotta accept whatever gonna come to me. Yeah. If I done something, I gotta accept whatever behind it. So I don't need to have no regrets about it. Nah, you know sure. what I mean? You but know. but I know you real open, like you real raw and vulnerable in your music yeah. and you've been open about that that's why i want to ask you yeah. about that you even revealed that after you got the deal with atlantic you were still robbing still doing shit because it's like when you get signed that don't mean you out the streets that don't mean you stop old habits and shit and that's like a flaw bro you know what i mean because some people uh, take the opportunity and run and, and strictly be like trying to, you know? Focus. But when you been like getting a certain amount of money in the street and this ain't working, you go back to what you know. You know what I mean? So it always be like a balanced thing. You know what I mean? And then we fucked up. We street. Like we be saying like we street niggas. It's kind of fucked up mentality because we be stuck in that shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like mentally, you be stuck. You really be your biggest you like conflicting with yourself, you know what I mean? Because you'll pick some street shit, owe some legit shit, because this how you've been knowing all your life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is that like a drug to a certain extent? Hell yeah, yeah, like a like drug. Like an, an addiction. Yeah. In its own way. A lot of niggas who sell dope, 
they addicted to it. They addicted to selling dope. Just the fast money or just a lifestyle, period. Just oh, period. This is yeah. what they know. That's what they if know. If you've been doing something since you were 14. You comfortable. And 15. By the time you get 30 and 40, shit like that, this all you know. But Anything else ain't even comfortable to you. But the crazy part, they say success is always like outside of your comfort zone. Yeah, but not in the streets. So. You don't know nothing else. Nah. So when you waking up, you like, ah, oh, I'm gonna go drive a truck or do hell no. I wanna buy a brick. I wanna catch me a leak. I want, you know what I mean? Like fad money.